Irene says, if he doesn't, if he don't text, should I accept the way he is? Well, you should always accept the way he is, but I mean, what, what are you going to do about it, right? It, it's one of those things where you have to really, I mean, you can, you can start texting him and you can build a connection and some kind of relationship over text. But if you guys have been meeting and you guys know each other and he's not picking up that ball and running with it, I mean, it's, it's one of those things where there's only so much that you can do, right? At some point, you're going to have to accept the fact that he either doesn't like you that much or he's not that interested or he's got other priorities in his life or whatever the excuse is, and you're going to have to decide what it is that you want to do. You can always pick up my Irresistible Text program and I'll teach you how to connect with man and get him chasing you if that's what you want. However, you know, there's only so much you can do. It's there's no miracle cure, right? There's no magic bullet. There's no you know magic pill that you can just take and all of a sudden you know he's he's just immediately like you know I didn't realize that I was I wasn't that interested in her and she just suddenly seems super interesting to me. I mean that that can happen. That can happen, right? Um, but a lot of the time it doesn't, right? And so so you have to be prepared for that, which is why it's so important that you do all the things that you can in the best way that you can, right? You're coming from a place where you value yourself and you love yourself. You're coming from a place where you're connecting with his heart instead of just connecting with him in a logical way. That way he loves you. That way he looks at you and he's like, oh my God, this woman is so amazing, right? You want to do all the things that you can right. However, at the same time, some men just aren't for you. Some men aren't going to see how valuable you are no matter what you do. And it doesn't have anything to do with you right? It has to do with them. And they have insecurities, they have problems, they have blinders on where, you know, they were hurt in the past, or they had this crazy childhood where their mom beat them or whatever, right? There, there's a lot of different scenarios that men come from. And he might just be dysfunctional, and he's never going to see your value and never going to see your worth. And you, you know, like, stop trying to force something to happen when it's not there. And that's why it's so important to make sure you're getting into abundance and getting into a space coming from a mindset where, where you really believe in your own value. So you're not putting yourself into these just horribly wicked situations like that. 